In today's video, I will show you how to use the Imager API. This is what the final result would look like once you have everything set up. You will be able to make an API call to any of the Imager APIs. In this specific example, I'll be uploading a photo. So I already selected a photo, and once I hit send, you can now see we got back a 200 OK status. And if I go back to my Imager account and refresh the page, you can now see I've successfully uploaded an image using the Imager API. Also, before we start, I will be leaving a link in the description where you can download a file completely for free that will allow you to have access to all of the API calls that I make during this tutorial. And if you want to support the channel, please consider purchasing the files for whatever price you feel comfortable with. So to start, the first thing we want to do is go to the Imager API documentation. Scroll down until you see the section about registering the application. I'm just going to be following the steps listed here for the next part of this tutorial. But the first thing we want to do is to download Postman if you don't have it already. Then we have to register an application by just clicking on the link here and just make sure you're logged into your Imager account. Give your application a name. I'll just do like tutorial five for this example. For the authorization callback URL, just type in this exact URL that you see here. Fill out your email, click the button here, and then hit submit. Now you should see your client ID and client secret. Make sure to save these values as we will need them in the next part of this tutorial. Once you have these values saved, we can now open up Postman. Then we just need to click the plus icon to create a new request and make sure it says get. For the URL, just paste in what I have here exactly. Click on authorization and then for the type, select OAuth 2.0. I'm going to expand this a little more so you can see exactly what's going on here. For the token name, you can type in whatever you would like. For grant type, select authorization code if it's not already selected. For the callback URL, just type in this value exactly as you see it here. For off URL, just type in this value that you see here. For the access token URL, just type in the value that you see here. For client ID, just paste in the client ID that we saved in the previous step. And the same thing for the client secret. If we scroll down, the last option we need to change is client authentication. Just make sure it says send as basic auth header. Now we can click on get new access token and it's gonna ask us to log in. So just go ahead and do so. Once you type everything, just click allow. And now you should get this prompt saying authentication complete. Then you should see this prompt. And the most important thing is to copy your access token that you see here. Once you have this value saved, we can now start by making API calls to the Imager API. And just as a reminder, there will be a link in the description where you can download the entire Postman collection that I'm using here so that you don't have to recreate these API calls manually. The first API call I will show is the one I showed in the example earlier to upload an image to your own Imager account. If we go back to the documentation and just click on image, then image upload, we can read more about this specific API call and everything that we need to pass in. If we go back to Postman, just create a new request, make sure this says post, and just paste the URL exactly as you see it here. Then click on headers. We just need to add one header and that's the authorization header. So once you typed in authorization as the key, for the value, we just need to type in bearer followed by the access token. So it would just look something like this if you're typing in manually. However, because I'm using an environment variable file, this is what mine would look like for the rest of the tutorial. If you don't want to use an environment variable file, just know that your authorization header will look something like this when you're making your API calls. The next step is to click on body, pick form data. For the first key, type in image and then make sure to select file here. And now you should see the select files button. Select whatever file you want to upload. So in this case, I'll just do like this random image I have here. Once you have all that set up, just click send. And now you should see a status of 200 OK, letting you know that the API call was successful. If we go back to my Imager account, you can now see a second photo has been uploaded from the API call that we just made. The next API call I want to show is how to favorite an image. If we go back to Postman and click on this API call that I already have set up, this will allow us to favorite an image based on an image hash. Before we get the image hash, to make this request, the first thing we need to do is create a new request and just make sure it's a post request. Type in the URL exactly as you see it here and we'll replace the image hash in one second. Just like in our previous API calls, just make sure to have an authorization header and make sure the value is bearer followed by your access token. Now for the last step, we just need to find our image hash, which we can easily do by going back to Imager. Just go into the image that we want to get the ID for, clicking on these three dots, click copy link, switch back over the postman. Now, if we just paste the link, we can see there's an ID at the end. So just copy the ID and then replace that for the image hash. Then click send. You should now see this response back if everything worked correctly. If we go back to Imager and then click on my profile and click on favorites, you can now see that the image we were just looking at is now under my favorites. If we go back to Postman and send the request again, it will actually unfavorite the image. If I go back and now refresh the page, you can now see it has become unfavorited. The next API call I want to show is how to update an image's title and description. Switching back to Postman, I'm just going to open up this API call that I have set up already to update an image. It's going to be very similar to previous steps, so I just make sure it's a post request. Copy this exact URL. Make sure the headers have the authorization tab with the bearer token. 
and the only difference is that the body is going to be slightly different where we just have a key of both title and description for the title and description that we want our image to have. For the last step, we just need to type in the image hash of an image that we have uploaded ourselves. So if I go back to Imager and look at the uploads I have so far, which are the two images I uploaded earlier, and just click on one of them. If you see, we don't have a title description just yet, but once we make the API call, we should then be able to see the new title and description. So if we look at the URL, we can just copy the image ID, then switch over the postman. And for the image hash, just paste in the image ID that we just copied and hit send. We can see that we got back at 200 OK. And now if we go back to the image and refresh the page, we can now see that the title and description got updated from our API call. The last API call I want to show is how to delete an image. So if we just go back to Postman here, we just need to create a new request and just make sure it says delete and just type in the URL that you see exactly here. Make sure to include the authorization header like before. Then we just have to include the image hash. I'm just going to use the image hash from the previous API call and just paste it here. Then I'll just hit send and we should get back a response of a status of 200. If I switch back to Imager and try to refresh our page, it will now give us a 404 because we've successfully deleted the image now. And that is the end of this Imager API tutorial. Hopefully you have a better understanding of how to use the Imager API. If you found this video helpful in any way, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.